Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small Engines. Today I have a Steel FS130 Pro Level Trimmer. Uh, it is the R model, so the FS130R, which is the loop handle. Solid shaft. It's one of the larger trimmers that Steel makes uh, on their Pro Level um, of uh, outdoor equipment. I bought it sight unseen for a hundred bucks. Maybe I overpaid, I'm not quite sure. I think the guy was a, a landscaper who I bought it off of. Usually you can tell if it's been used in landscaping, if the, uh, the covers of the shrouds here are all beaten up or if they're faded like they are in this one. The main issue with this trimmer is that it's really difficult to pull over. And that's the reason why he sold it. So I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on with this, but let's uh, dig in and diagnose it together. Okay, so all the magic in this trimmer happens under this shroud. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to take that off. And that is a T27 bit. It's kind of Steel's main bit that they use. This one's from Irwin. I love it. Um, did a review on this. Um, one of the most recommended tools that I had from Donnie Boy 73 my good friend, Don the Small Engine Doctor. So I'm going to pop the shroud off. Usually it's just one at the back and the other two are on each side here and then the spark plug boot has to come off and then the shroud comes right off and let's see what we're getting into here okay so overall not so bad so far looks pretty clean in here if there's big issues like crank seals this will be all all mucked up and oily but it doesn't look so bad here so the next thing i want to do because it's so hard to pull over i need to determine what the issue is now i know this is a four mix engine so underneath this valve cover cap there are valves and if you run the engine for a long time without adjusting those valves carbon builds up and i'm thinking maybe that's the issue with the <laughs> The hard pull here is that the valves need adjustment. But the easy way to check that is to pull the spark plug out and see how hard it is to pull over um, without having any compression. So let's do that. Okay, so I have a 5 8 spark plug socket. Just to speed things up, I'm going to use it in my impact. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, really easy to pull over. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when there's compression on this piston inside the cylinder, it's really hard to pull over. What I think is happening here, because there's, it's very easy to pull when there's no compression, I think the valves are out of adjustment. So let's uh, dig in and see what we find. Okay, so it's a single T27 on the top. And there should be a brass crush washer here, yeah. There it is. And then this should wiggle off. There's a gasket that seals around the top. Should always be replaced when we're doing this job. But sometimes you can get away with reusing them if you're just doing a quick adjustment. That's what the bottom of the valve cover looks like. Okay. So what do we have here? Well, this, as I said, is a four mix engine. So it's a four stroke engine. So it uses um, four mix, I guess it's mixed gas and four stroke technology. So because it's a four stroke, it has valves, rocker arms, valve springs, and then the valves are inside and they're, they're moving up and down, letting um, fuel in and exhaust out. So what I'm thinking is we have a tight valve either Oh yeah, that's pretty stiff. So what we want to do is find top dead center in the piston on the stroke that isn't providing any, because top dead center happens twice in a four stroke cycle. So we want it on the top dead center when the valves aren't engaged. So as you'll see the piston come up here this valve is being pressed down, so we know that it is not the stroke that we want. But let's go around one more time to the top. Okay, so there's no... Okay, well, they're not that tight. Let's get a feeler gauge in there and then make the adjustment and see if that helps. 
So here's the part number for the valve adjustment kit. It comes with a new crush washer, new gasket, and the valve adjustment feeler gauge. So let's see how it's doing. Okay. So what we're aiming for is to stick the feeler gauge in between the top of the valve and the rocker arm, just like I'm doing here. And we're looking for a bit of pressure. So I can't even slide this one in there. That's what kind of what confirming what I was thinking that the exhaust side was tight because of carbon buildup and it's too loose on the intake. So see how nicely that moves in there? Way too loose. See how it doesn't go in here at all? Way too tight. So we definitely need to make an adjustment. So to do an accurate valve adjustment here, we need to loosen the exhaust side and tighten the intake side. And that's just with an eight mil socket and your standard lefty loosey righty tighty so let's start with the exhaust side i'm going to loosen it off here okay and now what we're looking for is slight resistance when we pull it in so it's you can kind of see it sticks a little bit that's almost exactly what we're looking for right there you don't want it too loose, you don't want it too tight, but you kind of just want it to stick. And on the intake side, let's tighten it up. And what I kind of do is tighten slowly with my left hand and then kind of just move the feeler gauge in and out with the right until we get that bite that we're looking for. There, it's starting to go. I'd like a little bit more than that. So it's sticky, but it's not too loose and I like them to match. So I think the exhaust is tighter, but I'm gonna back it out just a little. So that's too loose. Okay, almost identical. All right, so let's plug the spark plug hole and see if it's any easier to pull over now. Oh yeah, feels easier. So the real test is throwing the spark plug back in. And then seeing how hard that is to pull over now. Oh yeah. Wow, okay, that makes a huge difference. So just that tiny adjustment to the exhaust valve and the intake valve, what a huge, what a huge difference. That feels exactly like it should now. Okay, so let's put the valve cover Gasket back on. See if we can get away with not replacing it. Doesn't look too bad. Now for the money, probably not a bad idea to grab a new one. But for the purpose of just seeing if we're any further along with the repair on this, I'm just gonna use the original. Don't over tighten it. We'll just throw the shroud back on. Now I'm not torquing them with this. Very easy to strip things when you do it like that. So I use the impact just to save my wrists and time. Then I just tighten things by hand. Just like that guys, now it's ready to start. Let's give it a try. Okay, so make sure the choke is on, purge the carburetor. I like to lock the throttle. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, okay. I'll take the choke off now. Oh, the gas cap wasn't on tight. Jeez.
watching the video guys much appreciated hope i got to help somebody out there in youtube land uh, it's really not that hard as you can see to do that valve adjustment and you know as a homeowner you probably want to look at doing it once a year and um, at least you know use your feeler gauge and make that check but really once you're in there it's not that hard to make that fine adjustment with that eight mil if you're a pro level user like most people buying something like this and you're using it every day or it's part of your livelihood you probably want to check it a little bit more often and uh, you know when it starts to just act up a little bit or if it's hard to pull like the issue that i was having it's a pretty safe bet that there's something going on with the valves and it's worth making that adjustment take care everybody thanks for watching